Hello, everybody, 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 and welcome to Slightly Ajar Treasure Chest, episode eight. Episode eight, all about shooters. We are actually here at the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 release, midnight release. There's a bunch of people in line looking great. Everybody's looking great. Leather jackets. Um, I think we're at Funko Land. Funko Land. Funko Land. I think it's this Funko Land. I don't know. If, if you remember exactly what that is. Um, if you're just joining in for the show, Which and I if you're for. live with the show, um, you can find us at Facebook slash S-A-T-C-H-V-G-M.com and SatchVGM.com as well. This is a live podcast, video game podcast, if you're with it. If you so, like video game music, if you like video game news, if you like video games, I think you'll like the show. Nobody here likes video games. No one, <laughs> no one here likes video games. So We're, who's on the show, actually? Um, well, I'm sorry, who's on the show? Um, I'm your host... Jess Mark. Uh, Jess I made Mark. that up for myself. That's creative. That's cool. That's creative. Cool. I like it. Uh, we got the co-host and the, the best DJ in town, Hollywood. <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> Nate Bit. Nate Bit. Say something to the ladies. Hey, Nate Bit's right. To the ladies, Shoot, not to the me. guys. I'm Nate Bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. And we Who got uh, our producer from, from, where are you from? San Diego. San Diego. Producer <laughs> from San Diego. Um, Ed for the win. Say hello, Ed. Hello. Yeah. And last but not least, um, our amazing graphic designer and video editor, and um, he's just a well-known man around these streets, Chris Sandwich? Chris Sandwich? Chris Sandwich. <laughs> Hi, guys. I say that name <laughs> for me, Chris. Delicious. Chris, say the name. Chris Sandwich. Chris Sandwich. Mm. Chris Sandwich. Chris Sandwich. And that's, right that's like off the Burger King sandwich. Yeah, right, <laughs> off, right off the menu. Right yes. off the menu. Okay. So <laughs> when, did they, when did they start serving Chris Sandwiches? When did they start doing that? Uh, 1983. Okay. That is 100% not true. I wasn't born there. I have no (laughs) idea. Anyways, uh, today's episode is all about shooters. Uh, This is dedicated to the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 release. And, you know, I mean, obviously shooters are the best selling games out there. They're outstanding. And, uh, you know, we're going to do video game music dedicated. What? So they sell the most? They sell the most. It's just, they sell way more than Mario. Mario. Nobody no one, plays them, but they sell the most. No one likes <laughs> Italian Mario. They'd rather shoot Italian Mario. <laughs> Italian I'd rather Mario. shoot Italians than, you know, is That's that racist? I'd play a Mario racist. shooting game. Totally I'm done. T- I'm done. It's Fine. pretty heavy. Very Anyways, uh, moving on to the next person of the show, Ed for the Wind's got some news for us. He's a news guy. Bring us the news, Ed. I love that. Anybody else yeah. love that? Isn't that, <laughs> I know isn't, I that do. isn't that nice? You know the news isn't is coming. That nice? That's nice. It's like 8-bit <laughs> newsy. Just ready I'm, to be informed. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Go ahead. Do it. And here's the news. <laughs> There's a few games coming out this week. Yesterday on November 11th, Paper Mario Sticker Star came out. Paper Mario? Paper Mario. Sticker Star. I didn't know they were what making another one of those. What is that? He's a star and stickers. Get it. Is Get it a it. sequel to Paper Mario uh, 2? On the Most likely. <laughs> I, I have so. no idea. <laughs> it's just, it takes all the fun of the traditional Mario game and blends it with like sticker collecting. It's going to sell. It, it's I Mario. I love collecting stickers. It's going to sell. I have a sticker collection. When you don't have enough time to go scrapbooking and play Mario at the same time. <laughs> all right. Get closer. Shut up. A couple other games coming out tomorrow on November 13th. My favorite. Lego Lord of the Rings. All right, that's pretty crazy. I, I'm I'm can cool we, saying that I play Lego Star Wars. Can we get a games. Can we get a Lego Black Ops? Mm. <laughs> yeah, Who would be down for Lego system. Black Ops? No one. No one. I'd be down for Lego Black Ops. I mean, I'd be down, but I, I really don't think Lego would do it. I'd it's, be down. You know? I'd be down for Lego Black Ops. <laughs> I've been personally trying to petition to get them to do a Lego Terminator for about five years now, <laughs> and oh, they just they won't do it. There's one. There's a petition, and you're the only one who's signed. The only one. It's handwritten in crayon. Okay, another game coming out is the Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy. Ezio. Ezio Trilogy. Dude, I've never played the games. I don't know how to pronounce this. Crap. Ezio Trilogy. Okay, yeah, it that has Assassin's Creed Wait, it, 2. all of them? Assassin's Creed Revelations and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Those three. So it's like the whole trilogy. It gives you the Assassin's Creed 2 Trilogy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I see. And um, what else? Oh, wait. I think uh, something about Carl... Oh, oh, yeah, there's a, it's a Carl game. Um, Family Matters? Oh, yeah. Black Cops. Black Cops. Redu- Black Cops. Black Cops. <laughs> Two yeah. released Car- today. Carl is still on duty. Carl's yeah. duty. Carl's duty. That joke is still hilarious. I mean, <laughs> I mean if, you, if you get on YouTube and uh, Black Cops, just Google that. Google Black Cops, Carl, anything. Um, I think you'll be able to enjoy yourself. I'm pretty sure you will. But seriously, Black Ops 2 is coming out tomorrow. I'm not, or you actually, know, in a few I, hours. I spent, for, some, for some people here, it's tonight. Yeah. It's tomorrow. 
for the 357,000 people <laughs> if you want to staring get at us right now. It's yeah. all the people who are going to stay up till tomorrow are going to get this game and play it all day until tomorrow. So if you're in school, don't go to school. If you're going to Home Depot, that's across the street. <laughs> Home Depot. <laughs> don't do that. A- ask off for work and pretend yeah. you're sick. Yeah. You got a case of the black cops. <laughs> Is that a real disease? Yes, it is. It's not. racist. It's racist. I, I'm done talking about it. It's racist. I don't like it. I'm, I'm sick. Dog. I, I got the black cops. <laughs> that means like Carl comes over and beats you up. <laughs> but there's other things in the news other than release dates. Halo 4 came out last week and it raked in 220 million dollars in 24 hours. Wow. Uh, I think Black Cops is going to beat that. We, but I'm, I'm happy about that. For that please? Yeah. No, no one? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I no. think so, too. I mean, because it's on both pro- platforms, PS3 and Xbox, so Halo only has Xbox, which is a limited audience. Yeah. No, I think for the percentage of only Xboxes, I think it's a good, you know, pretty good sales it, number. It's a great number. It's just upsetting that Black Ops 2 has already doubled it. Yeah. It's not <laughs> just, no, I, I think it's a sad statistic. I can't. It's, <laughs> when the Black Ops <laughs> 2 statistic comes out, as far as how much money they make, it's gonna make it's gonna make me sad. Yeah, uh, I'm a big I'm, Halo fan. Yeah, I'm a big too. Black I'm, Ops I'm player too. But like, it's, it's like every it's time Black every, every time a new Call of Duty comes out, it's just a Halo servers just drop. Yeah. It, it's right. it's sad. Go ahead, Ed. Continue. Next thing in the news. Some Wii U news. Wii U. Wii U. Hopefully, it's Wii good Wii news because no, you know bad. it always it always is with Nintendo. It's bad. They won't have universal achievements or trophies like the PS3 or Xbox. Is that a big deal, though? I think so. I mean, when I'm playing a game, it, when the achievement pops up, I feel like I accomplished something. Yeah, yeah. but when's I, the last time you actually looked at a game and you were like, you, you looked at all the achievements and you're like, oh, I want to do that one, I want to do that you one. You don't put those on your resume? <laughs> yeah. I did on my resume and I got this job. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Wii U's dropping on uh, Sunday, right? My gamer Sunday. score is 20,000. Yeah, if you haven't pre ordered your Wii U, you're not going to get one because <laughs> they're not. You can watch me anywhere. play mine. And if you have pre ordered them, I hope you pre ordered like seven of them um, because so you, you can sell them on eBay for like a thousand dollars. Why yes. are you repeating me? <laughs> we said it at the same time. A thousand dollars. That's you. That's what you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> all, right, all right, fine. All right, fine. I said you don't know, there's actually going to be a Mass Effect 4. What? Which is crazy. And it's going to use the Battlefield 3 engine. Instead of the Unreal engine, which is it's going to look completely different. Mm-hmm. And now this also, this brings up an issue real quick, guys. As that? far as like the games have captured 10 years of audience. If you are out here playing Black Ops 2, I bet you own World at War, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, and now you're about to own Black Ops 2. Like every You've been playing shit. the exact same game and you spent the exact same $60 <laughs> every two and a half years on the same thing. <laughs> It's retarded, but I mean, it's good gaming. Are you playing anything else? Maybe not. But like, if you are an RPG fan, Final Fantasy, if you are a Legos fan, Lego Star Wars, Lego um, Latin, I'm making that up. I just Lego that Latin, up. that'd be awesome. Um, Soon. But I mean, that Soon. that brings us to a point. Like, you know, what games are you playing? Are you playing any new games? Or are you playing the same game? Huh? Well, people know huh? what they like. That's huh? why they keep having huh? sequels. <laughs> what? Huh? Well,. Okay. I don't know. Like for me, I'm a pretty eclectic player, so like, I'll, I'll play Halo Four for 20 hours straight. But then I'll, I'll jump s- over to you said eclectic. <laughs> Define eclectic. Um, <laughs> can, can, can you use it in a sentence, please? Could you use? Could you, you get the language of origin, please? Spell I have, eclectic. I have me. a raging eclectic. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm pretty sure that's the right way to use that word. No, I mean, like, you, you'll jump from Halo to, to Peggle, you know, to, to whatever's out there. I, I don't know. How, is there a lot of different eclectic um, gamers out there? You know, just does only plays first-person shooters? Oh, yeah? Oh. This guy does. Wait, what this guy game, what right game do you play? He's, he's a good... What, what other games do you play? Battle, oh, that's not a shooter, though. Do you play any non-shooter? He said, no, he said, ba- he said Battlefield 3. What are Battle you talking Field about? Battlefield 3 is a shooter. That's a, that's a, that's I said a, a non-shooter. Like anything that's not a shooter. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, again, that's yeah. a shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Skyrim. Skyrim. There we go. No right. guns in Skyrim. First person. You have, we'll, it's good. Yeah. We'll take it. You have to play Skyrim. It, it's sold a lot. Everybody here has Skyrim, even yeah. if they don't want it. Someone in your family has Skyrim. Skyrim. It's... Yeah, I I'm, I'm took off like three weeks of work for that. Like, oh, approximately, I, I lost my house because of Skyrim. <laughs> it was. But it I was built sad. a really nice one in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was worth it. All right, there's some Grand Theft Auto Five news. 
Yes. It's going to have multiple en endings. Also going to have three players to play on. Like, you can really? switch at any given time. So. Now, wait. Is yeah, the Grand cool. Theft Auto protagonist, is he like a ghetto Indian dude? Because uh, I, 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 I want... Oh, I want a ghetto to, Indian dude. We've got a ghetto black from, dude, got a Mexican India? dude, oh, white yeah. dude, Russian dude. We need like this just badass Indian dude. Oh, like, like what you kind mean of Indian? Native American or no, I from mean, India? I don't know. I, from India. Who never Native American? Na yeah, yeah that's na what, listen to this kid. He knows <laughs> what he's talking <laughs> about. Native American <laughs> <laughs> he says it's racist. No, uh, no, Grand Theft Auto is awesome, and uh, no. your parents don't want you to play it, and we're gonna play it anyways, and we're gonna kill everybody. That's yeah. the best thing about the game. Uh, My main question is though, I mean, it's gonna have multiple endings. Uh, are, when you look at when you look for them on YouTube, are they all gonna be Rick Astley videos? Or are they all mm. gonna have like a, a Rick Astley video? Because we're I, the strangers. Love. I've yet to find out the end of the Grand Theft Auto Four. I've tried so many times to YouTube because I cannot get through the whole game. Oh, okay. like the girlfriend Dude, I, keeps I calling get distracted you and oh. by like killing people all the time. All the time. Wait. You're saying you've never seen the Grand Theft Auto Four ending? I've never seen. And you tried ending. to look it up on YouTube, and all and you, you found was Rick, Rick Astley. Yes. Rick rolled. Yes. Rick rolled about 37. Times. I'm sorry, man. I mean, did you go to counseling for that, or? Uh, no, I just had an amazing time. That was the greatest song <laughs> yeah, ever produced by anyone. I'm never gonna give you up. <laughs> Rick roll, everybody. Well, let's, let's get, <laughs> we gotta get. We're gonna stay in topical here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was, if I'm not mistaken, that's the news, right? That's the news. That's the news. That's so the news. We're gonna take um, five, ten, fifteen. I don't know how long we're gonna take, but we're actually gonna do a portion Back for giveaways, guys. Like I mentioned before earlier, we've got some swag, Call of Duty swag to give away. Um, we're gonna pick a few people from the crowd to come up and answer a few questions about video games. More tailored toward Call of Duty, but it's definitely gonna be played tailored for all video games. So if yeah. you get the question right, you will get things. Yeah, what things are they? I can't tell you until you get it. Then I'll tell you exactly what you get. Just make sure you actually know uh, information about video games. You know, it's a, it's a yeah. video game trivia game. If if you're a gamer, you can't fail. Uh, but if a, there's a better gamer against you, then you probably will fail. If, so. if, if all your answers are Black Ops, then you're probably going to lose. You might get at least one question. Yeah, probably three. Uh, but who knows? Absolutely. Well, thanks for listening and or us forcing you to listen. Yeah. And, and um, we'll here's get back some, to you in a bit. Here's some music, and we'll see you guys in a second. Here I go, roll one. All right, guys, and we're back to the Slightly Dark Treasure Chest Show podcast, video game podcast. Um, I just got a fortune cookie from Nate Bit. Um, I'm going to read it real quick. You have a deep interest in all that is artistic. Well, that's um, not true at all. Not much of a fortune either. Yeah, yeah. not much of a fortune at all. Uh, if you like in, things. <laughs> if you, if you just oh, my God, that's so true. I do. Is real. <laughs> if you just got here for uh, the Call of Duty Black Ops release, make sure you stop in to the GameStop and pick up your thingy <laughs> so, you can, <laughs> so you can go back out of GameStop and stand in line for the rest of the night. Um, <laughs> and listen to us. And listen to us. <laughs> so we're going to get on the second part of the show where we picked, again, our theme for this week are shooter games dedicated to Call of Duty Black Ops release 2. So we each picked one of our favorite shooters from our history of gaming and got some of the video game tracks, and we're just going to talk about them. We're going to talk about them to your ears bleed. So enjoy. Enjoy the talks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I first? I'm first. I'm sure, first? why not? Okay, Go for wow. it. Just mark. Embarrassing. Um, <laughs> so the first pick I picked was Duck Hunt. I don't know if any of you are old enough to know what this game is, but the Definitely one of the not. first systems that ever came out was the uh, original Nintendo. The original Nintendo had a gun that you can actually use to hunt ducks, hence the name Duck Hunt. That's, it's, it's, so you... You would turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. You, said, you used to take this gun as a controller and you used to aim it at the screen and shoot ducks. This it was game came like, out before a lot of people even here. Yeah, yeah. so it was kind of like uh, a newer version of it's like Time Crisis, if you guys have ever been to the arcade and played Time Crisis. What's an arcade? Okay, Time Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you you got like this dog, the dog comes up and he laughs. I and then dog, you, the, dog, the dog was such an asshole. Then you dog, always wanted to shoot him. Dog. The dog scares all, can I, can I tell the story about the game? Yeah, no. go, go on. No, can I tell turn. the story about the game? The dog comes up and he scares all the the ducks out the bush and you go with your gun and you shoot the ducks. What they don't show you in this game is actually what you do after you shoot the ducks. You actually cook them. 
Oh. And you oh. eat them and you and you bang them. What? Huh? what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not part of the no, game. No, not at all. I did not get that I game. Know. When, I don't know. But anyways, with the theme, when That's I thought shooters, too. I thought about my first shooter, which was Duck Hunt. Now I'm playing things like Halo and Black Ops, where I'm, well, I'm killing real people instead of ducks. So It was the we before we. <laughs> it was, it was, was revolutionary, man. Like, yeah, I, like back before thing. that, we were just going to the arcades and pumping our money, and, and it brought the light gun home to us and got a chance to just sit in front of the TV for hours. And in my case, actually touching the gun to the screen because I was so terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way to play it. <laughs> yeah. The Nintendo had a lot of stuff going on. They, they tried 3D. They tried um, a motion sensor way back in the day, and now it's really working. It's a, so. it's a lot of the stuff that we're buying now actually came out 20 years ago and failed. You know, yeah. The power so if you're, glove if you're, and the light gun oh. and the, the power so pad. Dude, I would so buy a power glove that came out today. <laughs> power, power glove? Power, power glove. Wait, power glove? Power yeah. glove. Power glove. <laughs> Nate, what's your pick, Doc? What's your uh, pick? <clears throat> well, speaking of shooters, uh, this this game actually it was an arcade game, and I, I can't remember how much money I spent on it, but it was as as my ten year old self, it was like my life savings. It was this game called Revolution X, and never, it, never heard of it. Oh, never. It's heard. awesome. That's sad because it's a great game. It's it has Aerosmith in it. Nate is a better person than you because he's heard of it. And you have yeah. It's it's a game where um, it's the New World Order. Uh, the the military for some reason abducts Not Aeros the Hulk Hogan Aerosmith. Group, by the way. And so the whole game you're going through trying to save Aerosmith. So you're yeah. shooting robots and police, and you're you're using your machine gun. But your special weapon is uh, throwing CDs at at the bad guys. Music is a weapon. Oh yeah, music as a weapon. Get it? Wow. Oh, it has a really deep meaning for a video game. Um, but no, but really though, I, I I can't believe how much money I put on that game. But it was one of the very first games I felt like I had to see the ending of it. You know, it was just I I just dropped all my money. I'm like, Dad, give me more quarters. I I have to beat this I, game. I liked how you could destroy the environment in that game. Oh yeah. Like. Shooting it was, seeds. Can, can we say it was one of the very first games that had destructible environments? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nate, I have to apologize. I'm, I'm just, no matter how hard I look at this name, Revolution X, I've just never heard of this game, man. I, I, I don't believe you. It's an, <laughs> I, I, it actually came out for Super Nintendo also uh, as a remake of it, a crappy remake. With the Super Scope? Uh, yes. Yeah, no, I, think yeah you, I, I actually believe it did have use a I, I think you nice. could use the super scope. You could also use the D pad and move it around that way and play that way. That's lame. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, it was it was bad, but it was good. I trust you guys. You guys are three against one. You guys all know about it, so it must exist. Edwin, your pick. Ed for the win. What do you got? My pick is Soldier of Fortune Two. Soldier of Fortune Two. Is that the one with the guts? With the guts. Got, had, whoa, with whoa, guts. whoa, whoa, whoa! This is the music for Soldier yeah. of Fortune. This is a shooter. Yes. This is kind of like uh, this is, is kind of right. slow right here. This is kind of no, dirty. No, no, no. This, this is dirty. Good. anybody anybody listen to like this track right here? Multiplayer uh, ex uh, extensively uh, on this. Uh, I used to play with my friends a lot um, online. Yep. This sounds like an R. Kelly track. Remember that? Uh, is, uh, this is this is this is this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not, not shooter nice though. No, like, no. We <laughs> like we used to play else. this level just for this music because the music was awesome. And yeah, I don't know. I used to just play this online a lot. Oh, Tell okay. Tell us about right the gameplay. The gameplay? Um, well, you could shoot off people's limbs, which was pretty cool. Uh, their heads would explode, and if you kill the guy, you could kneel down and knife them until their limbs came off. It was one of the first PC games I saw that you could do that. Yeah, I remember playing that game and not wanting my parents to walk in. Just because <laughs> you shoot somebody and literally like their intestines fall to the floor and like you just you just keep going. It's was it was it kind of like a fallout when you shoot you know your percentage and you shoot them they no. shoot their head off and their arms off. It, it was uh, like it wasn't it was it wasn't an RPG. It was a first person shooter. It was all live action, and yeah, me and my friends played this a lot and we got pretty damn good at it. Excellent. I'm glad you got pretty yeah. damn good at it. Okay. Um, Chris Sandwich. Chris Sandwich. Go to Burger King, get your favorite cause sandwich tonight. Is that, is that, a, is that an intro? Does that have you bacon need, on it? You need to be like a woman so that can actually be cool for me to say. I, no. <laughs> Sorry. Chris, transform into a woman now. All right, I'll try. <laughs> now go ahead. What was your pick for uh, favorite shooter in video game music? Um, there was a lot of games that I you know went through that I you know, thought about, but I had to pick Doom. It was 
it, it was it, it was always Doom. Doom was number one in my heart as far as shooters, as far as you know, bring, making me the gamer that I am now. The amount of time I spent playing on the Super Nintendo, on the Genesis, on the 32X, on the PC. Are you talking about the original Doom, yeah? The original Doom, yes. I mean, I played Doom 2 and Doom 3, and they just had the new re remix come out, but it was always about the original Doom. I just remember sitting in my room playing this game, and it was I was just head banging because this music is so phenomenal. Just jamming out, just you know, blowing away these aliens. Just oh, this rock tune, it's just so badass. What's the uh, premise behind Doom? What are we? What are? We, what am I killing? Demons from hell. I'm, I'm not talking yes, the, to you. The, the gates of hell opened up yep. on your moon of Mars, and that's about as far as I got through the story. Um, is, is it kind of a sequel to Wolfenstein? Because I know you're fighting Nazis in Wolfenstein. Did they no. open the gates of hell? I, I think it was two different companies, right? I mean, they're uh, almost they were, identical like, the damn, games. Same, same damn game. It was all the same type of technology back in the day. You know, Mar Marathon, like guy, though, I mean. uh, Bungie had Marathon, and then Wolfenstein, and then Doom. Those are like the three main first-person shooters back when they first started. It was it was Wolfenstein without all the political overtones. <laughs> without shooting Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Were they trying to sell you something in that game? This is intense. This is intense. This music. Yeah. Um, and I, I know you guys weren't stop talking for a second, and maybe you're getting like roughed up, but no worries. Um, I think we're giving away stuff now. And if right you, now? if right now, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I got we two could. words. Uh, we're giving away Call of Duty stuff. Uh, I think I am going to come through the crowd and pick a few people and ask you some random questions. Two things. You could either win Call of Duty big poster or you can actually play the game right now. Right now. Ah, right now. But now, if you play, if you play right now, um, you have to do exactly what I say as far as being organized. If you're not organized when you're playing then you can't play. But if you want to get a sneak preview of just playing the game, obviously an hour and a half before it rolls up, just raise your hand in a couple of minutes and um, we'll play. You just got to prove your video game knowledge. So it's, if you don't know it, then you can't play. I mean, Nate's, Nate's cruel. I'm a little bit nicer. I'm but cruel. you have to do exactly what he said, basically, um, in order to play. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's get a couple of tracks going while I prepare some questions. And uh, look for the African-American male with <laughs> fake glasses and a Detroit hat. Yeah, That's, uh, he's, oh, not yeah. gonna be, he's not going to be taking things away from you. He's going to be giving it to you. I also have a tie That's on. That's counterintuitive. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all bad. So look for the gaudy guy and um, come and play uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, guys. Fresh. 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 I guess I got a question for you. Call of Duty World at War was developed by who? Treyarch. Edwin, is it a Treyarch? Of course it is. Um, all the questions are not that easy. Yes, they are. They're all that, that easy. Anybody else want the poster right here? You, long hair with the glasses. In Super Mario 64, could you play with Luigi? No. What's your name, man? Jesus. Jesus says no. He's absolutely right. You, Luigi is whack. What's your name, man? Levon. Levon. Four seconds on a clock. First three Call of Duties take place in what war? Four, three, two. Get no more? Is the wrong answer. All right, what's your name, man? Oscar. Oscar, what is the answer? World War II. World War II, guys. Clap, clap for your boy. You know what? Clap for him. No one's clapping. Okay, you big game or you big Call of Duty guy? I, I got a question, Mark, if you want it. You're like God right now. I can't even see you, man. You're like a voice. What, what's the question, Nate? What do you got? How much in the millions did Halo make? I'll give you three choices here. 200 million, 240 million, or 220 million? 240. Incorrect. It's 220 million dollars. Oh. Wow, that's intense. That was an intense question. A couple of more questions. Jeez. Great. I'm getting popular. I'm excited. Who who created the uh, soundtrack for the new Black Ops? To who, right? To who? Trent Reznor. Ding, 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 ding. Pokemon. Pokemon's been out for a long time. If you guys don't know, it's a game where you take these uh, pocket monsters and you throw them and they explode. How many? Name how many stars there were in Mario 64. Stars. I think it's a uh, 108. That is incorrect. It's actually 120. Okay. Ouch. In 
NBA 13 just dropped was sponsored and put on by a big rapper. Who is that rapper? Jay-Z. What's another name for Jay-Z? Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama is Jay-Z. Oh, don't grab that one. You don't want that one. Super Smash Brothers is a colossal game with very popular Nintendo characters. Okay, I need you to name seven. Mario, Luigi, Link, Ganondorf, Bowser, Sonic, Mark, Roy, Kirby. Uh, he's naming the whole cast. Here, here you go, here's your poster. Hey, two new people for Black Ops. Thank you, Nate, Ben. Back in the 90s, a great console came out called the Sega Dreamcast. Please name the special date that Dreamcast was released. How old are you? 18. Oh, he's, he wasn't even born, probably. That's, that's... Maybe. Yeah, he was. No, you're just tricking it. He was born on the day the Dreamcast came <laughs> yeah. out. It, just for the record, it was 9 9 99. Why, how old are you? 12. It's 12, okay? So I don't want to hear like a 1999 answer for the Sega Dreamcast. In he... 1987, <laughs> what console was... Re okay. It's cold out here. Uh, Nate, let me, get a, let me get a break on it, some tunes, huh? And we're back. Yeah? And we're back. And we're back, guys, to the show, Slightly Jar Treasure Chest Podcast. Earlier, guys, we were giving away posters. All right. Guys, we got a special segment for you guys, a uh, final Satch battle, uh, which is going to be a Satch test of battle. video game knowledge. These two gamers, What's extreme the gamers, uh, no. um, the prize. Yeah, well, I want to know what the prize is. That the, sounds like a cool thing. Okay, the, the prize. The prize is very cool. The prize is to get in the front of the line and get out of here first. Get, oh. your, get your Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and get out of here. You're going you're gonna to get online now and play all the people in Michigan and Boston that are playing Call of Duty right now because their time zones is all whack. All right? So let me uh, introduce our two gamers. Gamer number one. What's your name, gamer number one? Rodolfo. Say it again. Gamer number one. Rodolfo. Rodolfo, gamer Rodolfo. number one. His gamer tag is gamer number one. Look it up. All right, gamer number two. What's your name? Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, he is Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi, Hi, I'm, Paul. Hi I'm Paul versus Paul Rodolfo. Versus Rodolfo. Excellent, excellent. Satch so, battle. guys, um, the, battle. the guy with the green hat, Ed, for the win, is actually going to be shooting three, a uh, couple of questions to you guys. You guys have to answer we three got a lot of questions. questions. Answer three questions in order to win. Okay, you guys got it. Correct. These questions are for every, any and all games. It can cover anything. It might even cover fast food, Subway, Burger King, McDonald's. That's, I don't know. That's not gonna happen. No? That's not true. I mean, not gonna happen. Not I apologize. So, let's get right into a Sash battle. Gamer one, gamer two. We're ready to go, guys. Right, go What's ahead. the first question? Ed, Ed, Ed get the first question. All right, I'll start off with something difficult. Oh, by the way, we should say real quick, whoever, are we doing it by turn, or we want to say whoever says their name first? Yeah, well, uh, whoever okay. says first, Whoever says correctly. your name first, we'll give you the, the answer. So your name is your buzzer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for doing my job, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, because you All clearly right. cannot. <laughs> 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 All right, say your name first, I will hear it, and you will get the chance to answer first, okay. guys. All right, first question, let's do it. In the Nintendo version of Rescue Rangers... At the very end, what does da what does Gadget throw at Chip? Say that question one more time, Ed. That's at the ending of Rescue Rangers for the N Nintendo Entertainment System, what does Gadget throw at Chip? And... Next question. Okay. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I thought we were going hard. Let's yeah. uh, we, we're, we're going hard. Yeah, well, that's, oh, we're that's, going that's, hard. That's hard. That, that's hard, man. <laughs> yeah, what's All right, the, what's uh, the answer? Flowers. 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 Okay, flowers. flowers. All right, next question. Next man. question. I'm sorry. All I'm right. sorry. That was a great question, Ed, by the way. I didn't <laughs> yeah. that no, we shouldn't look down on that at all. Um, what month has all the Halo games been released on? Rodolfo? Uh, November. Correct. November. That's one. That's I'm one point for that's Rodolfo. That's one point for Rodolfo. Right. It's, is it really? It's been November every single time? Yeah, every single time. You sure it hasn't been like December? December 1st? We nope, checked it's it. been their thing. We checked. All right. All right, next question. It. In Final Fantasy VI, what is the only character that can mimic? In f 
the character. Final the Fantasy character. VI. We're talking about America's Final Fantasy three. Final Fantasy and III. Super Nintendo's America's Final Fantasy three. Japan's Final Fantasy VI. There's a character who can mimic. Who is that character? I'm bringing it. <laughs> it's the same sound twice. We're done. What's right. the answer for that, Ed? Just Mark. I think you know the answer. Gogo is the answer. Uh, Gogo mm. is the answer for that. If you're a big RTG fan, go back and play all the Final Fantasies. You probably played 13 and X2 and X and 11 and all that nonsense. Go back. Play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You'll love it. Guaranteed. Next question. All right. In the popular game, Plants vs. Zombies, <laughs> the very last level brings you into what kind of area? What... What location is the is are you playing in? Well, these are some tough questions. I'll, I'll give I'll give you a hint. The very first part of the game, you're playing on the lawn. What are you playing on the end of the game? End of the game. Take a guess. Street. The street. Street is incorrect. Street oh. is incorrect. Rodolfo, you're trying to take this. Just just give just guess. give us a guess. Give us a guess. Still pertaining to a house. The backyard. Ooh, no. No, it's, 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 no actually, backyard. It's actually the roof. The roof. The roof. Wow. The roof is on fire. I got the, I got the crew behind me, dog. We're going to have a beer left after this. <laughs> yeah, okay. These questions are, these are tough. These are tough, tough, tough. Okay. tough. Next question? Next question. Next question. They're going to get a little bit easier. I in, believe in you guys. In the original Mortal Kombat. Original Mortal Kombat. What level do you find Reptile? Original Mortal Kombat, what level do you find Reptile? He's the green guy that looks like Scorpion, but Think he's not acid, Scorpion. Acid? The Deadpool. The Deadpool. Uh, the closer up, it's the pit. It's no, the pit. I'll take it. Yeah, You'll take we'll take it. We'll take it. One point. Oh, oh, one. Yeah. Ed one for the one. win's going to take it, guys. He's taking it. Huh? No one no one got that? Us? Okay. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> one, one, one. All right. Okay, one right, and one. Bad Next. joke. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> what arcade game made by Sega... Uh, was brought over to their console, the Dreamcast. It's a pretty popular series. It's been on the Xbox and the Xbox 360 and the GameCube. There's even it's a, it's a, a pistol shooting game. There's even a typing version of this. What? Um, typing of the Dead, and that would be also. Well, what's the original? Or, original. Just you, you got. You said, you said typing of the Dead. Of <laughs> you have half of it. Something else of the dead. Shooter game, X Xbox Arcade. You can shoot. Typing of the Dead is one of its spinoffs. Where does it take place? Something of the Dead. And you got it. House of the Dead. House of the house. Dead. Oh, really close. Okay. Very good game. Time Crisis is better. I, I, I think so. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a good game. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Next question. All right, guys. Uh, we're at one and one, right? Recap. Yeah, one, one and one. one. One and one. All okay. right. All right. All right. All right. We still got enough time, guys. We still. What is it? All right. Thirty minutes till uh, <laughs> twenty-eight minutes till Black Ops Two release. You guys right. get out of here. You guys ready? We're ready. In heavy rain, what is the name of the serial killer? Heavy rain. The In name heavy rain. that the news gives them. Isn't that game weird? You guys ever play that game? You played it, yeah. I, uh, uh, that's what I felt about the game. That's how I felt. It's way more fun to watch than just to play. It is. For sure. I, I watched a little YouTube video where you had a glitch and the guy was screaming like this kid's name in the hours. Jason. It was amazing. It was amazing. Jason. Um, guys, got an answer for that. Is it Jason? Is no. it Jason? Nope. I like the answer. Okay. Um, he's folding paper right now, and he's Japanese. Oh, this is good. The and hint he kills is people. Folding paper. Pretend this is a swan. In Japanese. Origami. The origami, origami killer. That origami is killer, guys. Good job, Paul. Good job. All right. Don't let him get to you. Guys. That's two to one. We are going to beat him up in a parking lot. Take his Call of Duty blackout. All right. All right. Remember to say <laughs> your name. I got. I got another question. It's a uh, maybe for the win. Maybe to catch up so here. Two one, one. Two one. Paul. One. Uh, all right. Ooh, Finish cold. this sentence. Link from Legend of Zelda is the hero of. Ocarina of Time? No. He is the hero of time, not Ocarina of Time. 
I mean, you were, but I wasn't to ask. What the bad? Here's the bad thing. Nate is a huge fan of he Zelda. Has he has a, a, he's got about tattoo. like twelve tattoos of Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Not even funny. Um, but no, that was a good. That was a good answer. Sadly, that was not what he was looking for. It was time. Yeah. Just yes. time. Hero, Hero of, of time. time. Hero of time. All right. Okay. We'll, we'll do another maybe easy one. You guys yeah. po- Pokemon fans at all? Pokemon? Big Pokemon yeah. fans. All right. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Well, I just got my next question anyway. What is the first town that you start in in Pokemon Red? Pallet Town. That is correct. Yay. That's, isn't that, isn't that part of the two. show? Yeah, yeah. We're all tied up. Isn't it's that part of the up. show? We're this, all tied up, but this Pokemon. This is for the win. Uh, are you, uh, are yeah. you, apparently you're shutting me up. Okay, I'm done yeah. talking. I'm done. Let's do this. I'm done. You guys last this last question. This, this is for the answer gets the first copy of yeah, I, I'm going to send one of you guys way back to the line. We're going to the end. Yeah. I'm going to 7-Eleven. Make it cut in front of everybody, just I'm, so you guys know. I'm All going right. to 7-Eleven, so I'll walk you back. So. You guys ready for this? I hope you're Final Fantasy fans. Because <laughs> I know who I am. What is the sport in Final Fantasy X? Is it Blitzball? That, that is correct! correct! Woo! Ambulance. Ambulance. Yes, we own the store. All right, guys, uh, if you're just tuning in after that ambulance, Rodolfo is the winner. Raise your hand, Rodolfo. Put a fist Woo! up, dog. Yeah! Fist. There it is. Woo! Now, all if you right. flew away, how many people would be excited? Just all right. Three people are you excited. You get uh, you get in there first. We're gonna hook you up with another poster. If you haven't got one, uh, you know, dog. Thanks for playing and whatnot. I know you got a poster for you and your crew and whatnot. So congratulations and okay. check us out, guys. I know you had a good time. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are such a good gamer. Sorry for some of those earlier questions. Yeah. You, you, you know, won the very are, first. Those were kind of intense. Sorry. Very first slightly ajar satch battle audience live. edition. Hey guys, if you look up on the flyers that you gave, you guys hear yourself on this episode. This is live. Of course, it's gonna be a lot of fun stuff going on, but definitely check us out. All right, appreciate it. Appreciate it. This is it. I guess this is it, guys. We gotta go. This is uh, just Mark signing out and for the win. Yep, that's Nate me. right here. Thanks and for listening, forget- everybody. Chris Sandwich. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy your Call of Duty Black Ops 2 midnight release.